Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I'm gonna be playing Devil May Cry 5 on the PlayStation 4. And of course, this game is also available for Xbox One as well. And there you go. Very nice intro there with uh, Nero. And let's go ahead and continue. I'm right now I'm on mission tree. And uh, right here, okay, we edited the loading screen and some part of the menu. All right, move out. Because uh, I wanted to try to make the video as short as possible because I wanted to include a little bit of gameplay of um, another character that we actually get to play later on. She looks freaking awesome. She is Nico. So much for teamwork. She's really cute. And of course, uh, if you think um, um, Nero looks different, it's because I, I use a code that I I got when I pre-ordered the game, and uh, it gave me like white suits for everybody. I think, like every character that's playable, um, I have like an alternative costume, and they're all like white. So I decided to go ahead and use it for this video. Um, most likely, you're already accustomed to seeing him in black so there you go so uh one thing to keep in mind i was a huge fan of devil may cry franchise when it was on the playstation 2 uh i don't remember if on the playstation 3 i actually got to play devil may cry 4 i know i actually played devil may cry 1 2 and 3 definitely remember playing those games but i don't remember playing Devil May Cry 4. I don't remember and I I have to. I think I, I must have have to play that game because I, like I said, I've always been a huge fan of Devil May Cry. And the only game, the only Devil May Cry game that I didn't play, and yes, I did touch it and play a little bit, but I didn't play like more than half an hour, was the Devil May Cry that came out with Nero. With this character, uh, a couple yeah, years ago, I think somewhere. it came out on PlayStation 3. By the end of PlayStation 3, was it? I think it was, yeah. By the end of PlayStation 3. Uh, that's, I'm aware that that's the only game that I didn't play. Uh, I, I can say I didn't play, even though I did try it for like a half an hour. For some reason, I just didn't like the gameplay with this character. I don't know why, because it's basically almost the same as Dante. Um... Yes, he has different moves. He uses his weapons different. But for some reason, I did not like it. I don't know. I did not like it, and I didn't play it. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I, if I, th I think I have it on PC. And I haven't played it. This right here, I really like. Uh, it's called the... Uh, I forgot the name of it. It's the arms. Because he's missing an arm. And um, he has like a robotic arm that that is actually a weapon, and you switch between those arms, and every arm has a like a different power, and it's really damn cool. I really really like it. Ooh, uh. And I gotta say, Capcom did a, an amazing job. With these, uh, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Come on over here. Nice. Oop, there's something down there. So, and I really like, um, on in the menu. There's a, a whole bunch of upgrades you can actually apply to the character with the red orbs blood that you get. And it's there's a huge amount of stuff you can like, uh, buy to upgrade your character. There you go. We gotta get over there. Oh, okay. Clyfa. Screw it. We're taking this fucking thing down. Yes, we are. Okay, green grip. Yeah. 
There's something over here. Nice. Like I said, the weapon handling with this character feels really good. It's always felt great with Dante. Uh, which I can't wait to use Dante in this game. I'm pretty sure we do. I think we use Dante. We use Nero. And uh, there's a third new character that we use. It's called V. Okay. Oh. oh, man. I couldn't get there. Um, try. It. Let's try that again. I don't have to go up there. Ah, damn it. Uh, you know what? The hell with it. Let's keep on going because I don't want to waste too much time here. Oh, yeah. We got a gold orb, which uh, I think if we die, it actually brings us back. Nice. <laughs> nope. Can't jump over there. Oh, yeah. So this year, I don't know, I, I did a video earlier this year uh, of my most anticipated games for 2019. And um, this game was on my, it wasn't like on my top 10, but it was like on my games that I would play later on when things, you know, go down like on late summer or um, de December, like in the holidays when there's nothing to play. I said, you know, this game, I think Devil May Cry 5 is going to be one of those games that I play to, um, you know, to play while there's no games around. And I say, you know what, when I saw the reviews for this game, I said, you know what, I think this is a game I can't skip. Plus, I was playing Anthem, and um, the problem with Anthem is that I was not having a problem, but I've been listening and I've been reading and I've been hearing a lot of people having problems with um, brick consoles, PlayStation 4 consoles. Uh, it's not really brick, it's that it shuts it down completely. And when you, um, you know, when you unplug your PlayStation 4 without properly um, turning it off it, there's like a message saying that hey this can damage your console blah 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 so the game was actually provoking that and i got scared of it i said like, you know what i'm gonna stop playing anthem until there's a new update and i think i think there's a new update i don't know if that's the update they actually fixed the game let me know in the comments um has there already been a uh, update to fix that game because when i when i first started installing this game um it actually I, I got the notification that there that there was a new update for anthem and it has been installed already but i don't know if that's an update that came during the week because i like i said i stopped playing anthem because of the you know i don't want to i don't want the game to ruin my console and i and i've really been liking it i really been liking anthem I love the how you feel. Look at that. That looks freaking awesome. <laughs> it's so freaking awesome. I love that. Oh yeah. So we still got enough. We gotta see we got four out of four arms. So right now I can't pick those one because I already my cartridges are full. Uh, but um in the in the no in the start menu not in the start menu but in the upgrade section you can actually upgrade your slots so you can buy get more arms so yeah like i was saying i stopped playing um anthem because of uh, scared of getting my console brick or messed up so uh, i haven't played it so i don't know if the update that's available right now actually fixed that problem i don't think so oh yeah baby <laughs> Awesome. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, my God. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. 
to the charge. Nice. Oh yeah, baby. That's so cool. Right now, I still need to um, dominate the combo because uh, there's I've seen some people playing this game, and wow, there's so many awesome combos you can perform once you dominate this character. It's insane. It's insane. Um, but I haven't. I, I'm not there yet. I'm still trying to learn how to perform these combos. Um, I already went here, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the freaking... Okay, yeah, this is the... Where the plants were, the big roots. We gotta go up there. Oh, yeah. Huh. Okay, why can't I take just the stairs? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to learn how to use that properly, too. Yep. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to use that a lot later on to go up and down or no platforming with that. Oh, yeah, we got a new enemy here, which is. Uh, what's her name? It looks like a she, right? Holy crap. Gotta say, man, the graphics looks incredible. Death scissors. Cheers of annihilation. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> Where the hell she go? Okay. Is there anything else over here? Okay, we get we'll keep on breaking stuff if we want. Uh, there's also a section I haven't seen it yet, but at the beginning, uh, where there's like a secret. It's like a secret uh, mission, but you have to pay attention to the walls. And I just saw it once, but it's like a pattern that you see on the wall. And if you properly match that pattern by moving, you know, from one location to another, um, it, it unlocks like a secret mission. And it's pretty damn cool. Boy, you got big ass scissors. Okay, the the arm is not doing anything. Okay, look, it's gonna load it up. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. That looks really nice, man. Oh yeah, let's go and take another arm. Wait, is this the same one or is this another one? I thought I killed her. Oh yeah. Come on. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> nice. There you go. Man, I need to improve my my performance because I'm believe me guys, there's a lot more awesome moves that he you can perform with Nero. Hey, let's go and see if there's anything around here because okay, every time I lurk around and look for stuff, I find something cool. There you go, we got another arm right there. There you go. And that's it. Yep. Just this right here. And there's another blood clot over there on top, but eh, let's keep, keep on going. Get out of here. 
Holy crap. What the hell was that? Like blew all the windows. Without strength, you can't protect anything. You know that. Nice. So like see here, you can also like recharge your blade. But I don't know what it does. I really don't know what it does. Let me know in the comments why am I supposed to be doing this um charging with the L2? Because uh, I keep using it and I don't I don't I don't notice anything you know I don't know beneficial I think it's supposed to make the blade um, you know cut better or be more powerful every time you hit with the blade but I don't know I don't notice it oh yeah what no chit chat or monologue <laughs> just getting right to the point huh look at that look at that man whoever designed these freaking bosses is amazing has a great imagination they go oh look at that i can use the arm to get right in her face okay i guess i'm gonna have to do that a lot try to get close nope that's not gonna do it it's not gonna do anything Okay, we got another arm there. Oop, too far. Damn, I gotta get too close. There you go. Nice. Okay. Oh, that did damage there. Oh, crap. Come on. These things, do I gotta blow these things up? Come on. There you go. Oh! Damn. Man, like I said, this game looks incredible. It looks really damn nice. Okay, woo. There you go. Didn't get me this time. Let's try to get closer. There you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. Oh. Okay, she's halfway there. Oh, crap. the hell happened here now is she gonna be dropping like a freaking bomb or something like that what the hell this doesn't look good oh crap wait a second I think I have to use these suckers to go I don't know it's kind of hard to use these suckers to go up okay got him got him come on oh, blowing up these arms oh <laughs> on oh now I got zero oh man I get there you go I got another one right here okay we're almost there come on oh man we got her we got her we got her get out oh no 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 Holy crap. Uh. 
Get closer. Come on. Aw, oh, damn it. Damn it. There you go. Oh. Get out. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. I can't grab her. There you go. Yes. We got it. We got it. Oh, yes. There you go. Man, that was kind of tough. I think I was supposed to use those um, little orbs that came out surrounding her to go actually up. Grab them and with my hook and keep going up. Okay, who the hell is this? Lady. Walk the walking arsenal. Dante's friend. It's Lady. You know her? <laughs> From a gunsmith days. Uh what? <sighs> I believe you do this to Kyrie. I'm gonna have to tell her, man. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I'm joking. Hey, loosen up your jock strap. <laughs> Don't do anything I would do. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> wow, that was freaking awesome. That was really damn cool. Yeah. I don't know who's they talking about, like, but I guess it sounds like his girlfriend or wife. I don't know. There you go. So we finished it. Nice. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and edit. There you go. Nice. We got a trophy there. And there you go. So we edited there the whole loading screen and little cutscene that was right after that. Uh, there wasn't that much of a cutscene, but uh, I just wanted to show you this character just in case you haven't tried this character yet. Uh, this is a nightmare that now we can actually spawn one of these big ass creatures. Uh, but this character is awesome. I never played with this character before. I believe this is a new character in the series. I don't like I said I don't I didn't play the one in the game with Nero, so I don't know if this guy is actually in that game, the DMC game. Uh, let me know in the comments. Is this character in DMC, the the game that came out with just Nero? Um, because it is amazing. This guy is really really badass. I like the way he fights. He's not really fighting. Um, his panther and his bird is actually doing all the damage and the only thing you're doing is is finishing fishing finishing them that's the only thing you're doing in this game is uh, giving the final blow and you can actually like summon this big ass creature and you know right now it wasn't necessary <laughs> it wasn't necessary because there's not too many of them but wow and you could just finish them his hair actually turns black and white look at that and i don't know what he is i know he must be like uh, i don't know if he's a devil hunter just like uh, a demon hunter just like nero and dante uh but man i like i like the way you use this character you know i like the way you use this character see you Use the freaking bird or the eagle to go up. And it's so cool. It's so damn cool. There you go. And there's a, I think that also when you're fighting with him and and they, everybody is actually doing their, their thing, uh, he can actually start reading a book as well. This bridge looks unstable. Okay. I have to keep going. We gotta break that bridge. There you go. So, you see there the panther and the bird. I forgot the bird has a name. I forgot the name of it. Okay. And 
I was surprised because I, I believe, I think I also have a suit for this guy. An alternate suit, but uh, when I started playing this guy, it didn't actually tell me if I want to switch suits. But I'm pretty sure I also have a white suit for him as well. But I didn't get the chance to change it. But, guys, the video is getting long and I didn't want to upload a video too long. Um, I just want to share this uh, little bit of gameplay with this character because he is really, really badass. I like the way... Um, he fights, or everybody fights for him, and the way he finishes the, the monsters, the devil, it's so freaking awesome. I really, really right. like it. And, um, but, you know, there's so much gameplay left that I don't know uh, what other surprises I'm going to be confronting. I'm pretty sure yeah. there's going to be a whole bunch of awesome bosses we're going to be facing, but so far, I am liking this game, guys. The game is really, really damn good. If you like action slasher games, oh, you're going to love this game. It feels and looks incredible. So, guys, thanks for watching this video. This was Devil May Cry 5 on the PlayStation 4. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.